So everybody is moving their events online, but how easy is it to take your live events and produce something really fantastic online? We're very lucky today to be talking to an old friend of mine, Daniel Steinhauer. Great to have you join us, Daniel. Thanks, um, Rob. He is an absolute master at this stuff. I've known Daniel for probably 10 years, and uh, he's helped us in all manner of ways with our, with our events, online and offline. So that's the topic that we're gonna be talking about. So maybe you've moved into the world of online events and you've participated in online events and some are really great and some are not so great. So Daniel, master of events and of course online events as well. What are some of the things that people really get wrong when they're getting into online events? Wow, well that's that's a uh, can of worms right there, isn't it, mate? Um, <laughs> so I think there's, let's there's not go for an hour. Give us the top three yeah, or four. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I, I think there's a couple of really fundamental uh, ones that people miss uh, quite quickly, and and they can change it quite quickly as well, and actually shift it. Um, I think the first one is not engaging with your customers or your delegates or your attendees. Uh, it, engaging engagement is the name of the game. So anything online. It's all about engagement. The number one thing that I find uh, probably the most frustrating is uh, when you're talking to somebody uh, on, a, on a Zoom call or a conference and they're sitting there like this and they're reading their notes or they're looking at the other people in, in attendance rather than I'm, looking I'm, down the camera. I'm making sure I'm engaging. looking at the camera now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So as soon as you don't look at the camera, you're, mm. you're immediately disconnecting mm. with people. And uh, it, it's such a simple thing to do. Um, and the other thing is, well, audio and video. I mean, lighting and uh, good sound and good image is just so important. You know, if you don't have that stuff, it's not expensive to do, man. You can, yeah, you can do it with true. one of these little puppies, you know, little yeah. iPhone or, or something like that. They've got great cameras and they've got great ability to uh, uh, actually I mean, that's interesting. I, I know you're sitting in your studio at the moment and we've got the that's studio right. lights. I, I won't go and move the camera, but um, my office is actually a studio. So I've, yeah. I've, I've got soft boxes, reflectors. I've got a hair light up here. Um, I've got a pro microphone. Um, yeah, it's not hard to do, is it? So no, if you're not. putting on these events, don't try and sort of do it with your PC camera and all that's that right. stuff. That's right. That's right. And and that's a really good point. You know, it's uh, the PC cameras are in there for a reason. I mean, the Mac ones are okay, but uh, uh, some of them are really dodgy. And they put them in because they're cheap and they're really small. They've got very small sensors. Um, you know, I'm running off a, a Sony A6600 or whatever it is, mm. one of those uh, 4K cameras at the moment. And I'm literally plugged into Zoom with uh, an audio, uh, like a video interface to actually be able to connect to it. Right. Um, but it's not expensive. I think I paid maybe uh, 30 bucks for the interface so that I could connect it into Zoom. Mm. Um, you know, that's not not a big expense at all. You'll, and you'll uh, have thank to tell you me how to do that because I'm just yeah. using a webcam. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's it's the little things that actually make a big difference, especially in events. You know, everybody's been on a Zoom call. Everybody's been on a live event. Um, but if, if you don't take the time to actually just polish those little bits, you'll, you'll never get to that next level. And, um, and I think that that's one of the big things that I find when uh, I work with my clients. I make sure that uh, that they are actually going on a journey with their customers as well, with their clients, you know, um, because the ability to connect with people on online events or in online events, however you look at it, uh, is so much greater and so much higher and, and so much more powerful. Um, the ability to uh, be able to jump into a room with somebody one-on-one -on -one and actually sit down and talk with them or the ability to just eyeball somebody, you know, just like uh, Tony Abbott said to Putin, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to shirt tail and eyeball you. Uh, maybe not the same sort of thing, but you can certainly connect with people. Um, we had a, an event recently where somebody was actually direct messaging somebody and they said something inappropriate about, uh, about the event. And it wasn't even a, a really that bad, but um, it gave, gave us as the event organizers the opportunity to pull that person aside and just look in the camera and just go dude what are you doing mate mm. you know like that that's not necessary we're here together to work together and he was like oh 
I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean it. You know, it was, it was, it was like a, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And at live events, you know, you just can't do that. It's, it's no. just not possible when you've got 5,000 uh, people sitting in a room, you know, mm. and uh, I, I think we, you know, Rob, we, we've talked in the past about will live events uh, ever come back, you know, the, the mm. whole physical event. And, and I think they will. But I think it's going to always have the element of online. And if we can't do online well, then you're never going to have that meshing. Yeah. And, that, it's, and that. it's such a great opportunity, isn't it? I mean, we've, we've done live events for 20 years. Uh, I'm just loving the online events now because we're on our, uh, I mean, we're, we're doing webinars and things, which kind of really low level online yeah. events. Um, but, you know, we're, we're getting people from 25 different countries on it. It's fantastic, you know. That's right. The insights and the sharing and so on. Yeah. But, but you do these at a totally different level, don't you? I mean, the online events that you do with your clients, it, I mean, just tell us briefly about that. You basically build a TV studio. I've, I've seen these events. They're phenomenal. Mm. Um, and your, your presenters are there and, and they're presenting online, like from a TV studio live. That's right, yeah. I mean... We, we, we tend to, I mean, there's a couple of different models we use, but uh, uh, we usually go to a location, whether it's their office or um, a hotel conference mm. room, uh, and we basically build out a studio with, uh, you know, 60-inch monitors or, um, you know, uh, uh, massive amounts of computers so that we can have breakout rooms and different things. So, I mean, we're talking, you know, you might have 50, 100, 200 people, and you're splitting them out to different rooms for, for five minutes here, wow. five minutes there. And uh, it's just really a lot of fun, you know, but it's all about engagement. And, uh, and then the speakers or the, or the host uh, can actually sit there or stand there, actually, and literally be in somebody's living room presenting uh, live and, and be able to see everybody on the screens. And it's just really, it's That's really amazing. cool. It's a lot of fun. I mean, if people want to do events like that, is there a link or something we can share? So, yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, yeah, if, yeah, if definitely. Whatever platform you're watching this on, if you have any questions, do post questions and I'll, I'll button mm. old Daniel to answer them for you. Yeah, cool. Uh, but maybe there's a link that we could share where um, people could reach out to you for advice or get an idea absolutely. of kind of what you do with these online events because I've seen mm. them. I mean, they're amazing. <laughs> Thanks, so, uh, yeah, they're good fun. <laughs> that's, uh, and uh, we've been doing events for many years together. And uh, I have to say, mate, you are very good at doing them. So um, <laughs> thanks thanks for joining us today. Uh, it's great to, uh, you. to hear those tips. And uh, look forward to talking to you again very soon on this topic. Make sure you put questions down below, whatever platform that you're on. Very cool. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Daniel. And remember that if you enjoy the videos on this channel, do hit subscribe, do hit like, do share, and uh, we'd love to hear your questions down below. Either I'll answer them or more likely I'll get Daniel to answer them. So thanks again for watching. Mm -hmm.